and that's outside. Now a pop-up on the infield. Brings it in for the third out. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia has a beat on it. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Now it's Corey Seager. And that one fouled off. Alcantara, a former Cy Young Award winner, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. And Seager is set down. And there's two away. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Ripped on the ground a second. Arise on to first. And that is that. New inning getting started. And here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Jorge Soler up at the plate. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of the start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. Now the batter now, Brian De La Cruz. Oh, that's okay. And here it comes. Out to short. And it gets by him. The throw in. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Welcome back. And now Adolis Garcia. The pitch. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one opts against the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And he handles it himself for the out. Jonah Heim now at the plate. This to center field. Chisholm settles underneath it. Makes the grab for the second out. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. No throw, and a run scores. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Brad Miller now. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Smash to the left side. They get the That's force. Out. Play made. That ends the inning. Top half of the third inning. John Birdie at the plate. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Marlins, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs. But that hasn't been the case today. And there's one away. 
ground ball to the right side. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Gene Segura at the plate here. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. That's the third. Young tossed the first. Segura out in the play. As we go to the last of the third, here's Leody Tavares. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Tavares measures six feet, two inches. Hitting ninth in today's lineup. Usually in center field, but today starting in left. The wind and the pitch. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Now it's Marcus Simeon. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Into center, Chisholm should have this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. So now it's Corey Seager. Bounce to the right, Cooper. He takes it on his own. Three up, three down, inning over. And welcome. back John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Garrett Cooper so out of the bullpen for the Rangers Cole win so at this point in the ball game we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the could be extra bases and it bangs up against the wall into second base the tying run is on with a leadoff double Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Foul ball there. The pitch. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there. Puts and misses. It's a strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches. And well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the year. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. And that's a double. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Adolis Garcia getting ready to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. No outs. Runner on second. Oh, that hit him. Safe at first, and now we'll check on the right-hander. Hope he's all right. Definitely some concern here. That ball came back and got him right on the pitching arm, as you can see him trying to shake it off. And if nothing else, you worry about him getting some dead arm and losing some feeling, but from what I can tell, I think they're going to let him continue, and that's a really good sign. Here's Josh Young. And first offering is fouled off. Low at third. Garcia on at first with nobody out. Two 
Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Feeds to second, out there. On to Cooper, and it's a double play. Great job on the mound, fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often, we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. to the mound. Tosses the first. That's the third out. Inning over. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now here is Brian De La Cruz. Can't glove it cleanly. To first. And he just gets it there in time. One away. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. The 0-1. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. And now John Birdie. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready. The underhand flip on the Simeon. Throw to first, but he beat it. So the lineup flips over, and now Birdie runs. Foul off left side. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. That one the other way. Brings it in for the third out. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Alcantara back to work. On the ground to the left. Birdie. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. So next to hit for Texas, Brad Miller. He's 0 for 1. Popped up. Birdie settles under it. Two down. Two outs, bases empty. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. And a foul ball. Tap to first. Cooper, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Also. Set for the top of the sixth. And at the play for Miami, Gene Segura taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Joe Barlow. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. In the air to left center. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now it's going to be Jorge Soler. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Soler, 31 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, Bruce, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third. And welcome back. Here is Marcus Simeon. Alcantara back to work. Now fly ball to right center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Line drive. Pulls it down and there's two gone. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. This one in the air center field. Chisholm gets under it and makes the grab. And that will end the inning. Nothing doing. 
We go to the top of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Abasail Garcia. That misses. Ball one. And that's in the dirt. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Swings through that one. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Next offering is foul back. Strike three. Got him swinging. One out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Adolis Garcia. And first offering is fouled off. On a line, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And yeah, the batter now, Josh Young. Grounder might be two. That's out number two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. Middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. And the one Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a welcome back for the top of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, John Birdie. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Will Smith. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. That one misses, and the count is one and one. The one one is fouled off. Out there to center. Garcia makes the catch, inning over. And the Marlins. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now Robbie Grossman. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. To the right side. And that one handled. Slings to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Steven Oker appears to be getting loose. Puck warming up as well. Ripped into right field. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield.
Now the Marlins manager. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Steven Oker. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Tavares now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And that one pulled foul. Here's the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. The punch out there, two out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Rangers and welcome back. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. That one fouled off. A one down. Missed inside with the curb. Misses inside. Two and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. The other way, makes the grab, one down. Here's the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. There's the strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter, a way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Grossman pulls it down, out number two. So up next, Jorge Soler. Found back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that's it. They've won the World Series. Huge congrats to the World Series champs. This was an incredibly special team all season long. And what I love most is that these home fans that supported these guys, game in and game they got to witness it in their home ballpark. So many memories over this season, but in this game. This city is already going crazy. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. Now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the commissioner's trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Shambi. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.